right, so unless you've been laying around a rock, you would have seen that Josh Tarling won the Europeans by a ridiculous amount. So today's video is kind of mainly about his position changes, and then I'm just also going to go through some other position changes of the men and women and their numbers. So this is his old position that he used in the World Champs. So you can see a decent gap between the helmet and the hands. Standard round poles, uh, nothing too special on the front end. Standard in your setup, big chain ring. I think he probably was on a 64 today. That's what he used for nationals. Um, probably a smaller set, like 34, he's probably on a 30. Princeton Carbon Works wheels, Pinarello frame, cask helmet, it doesn't change. Uh, and the kit is the same. He wears uh, a base layer. Uh, an aero base there in these races. So anyway, we'll go over and kind of have a look at the two positions side by side. So you can see uh, the number one thing you'll notice is obviously like the integrated bar, well, integrated, uh, you know, the the custom bar. So they look, they're more round, they support him better. The the shape of the, the handlebar is slightly different. The way it cups his elbow uh, is narrower on the front end, which I assume is probably slightly more aero. The way he holds it, um, Again, you can see where his hands are. There's not much support underneath here. There's a lot of support. So his wrists are pointing down a uh, similar angle, but s slightly more acute. Uh, you can also see the helmet position, I'd say, is quite a big difference. So here, okay, he might be going up a climb, so maybe it's not the best comparison, but you can see the helmet's a little bit further forward here. Looks looking, so it looks like he's looking more uh, down uh, than he has in this one. You can see the he's got the, the rotating uh, angle spaces, so that, but you can see the angle look is a lot higher um then this one where i really don't think it is that it's as high um and also like what well, the way it comes down straight onto this um onto the spaces is quite nice actually um it looks pretty clean i'll, I'll try and show another picture from the ineos footage but you can see it actually looks looks really nice so yeah it is, it is a decent change of position um i think any head slightly lower is, is is good um everything else is obviously uh more or less the same there's not too much difference you know the chain ring size is something i, I mentioned you can see the cassette is smaller as well, but that's more or less it. So a very good ride from Josh Tarling, obviously. Um, that's kind of it from Ineos equipment. It's pretty, pretty boring. Obviously, they're going one by, which is less boring. We're going to go Wout Van Aert. He again on a one by. doesn't look a ridiculous tooth size, but it looks decent. Um, I don't think the position's really the, the best I've ever seen. I think it's obviously, it's not bad. Um, he's on aero coach. Is that an aero coach or is that reserve? They say it's reserve, but I'm always, always doubt if it's aero coach or not. But... He, yeah, it just seems like it's, it's, it's not, I don't know if it's changed that much, but it just seems like he's very long, um, quite low as well. Um, it obviously does work for him. Like you can see his, his head angle is pretty acute, but you know, it's just a observation. It's definitely not uh, super like high compared to some teams. He doesn't seem to be using the young, the Belgium overshoes. He uses his own custom Yumba ones, which I guess makes sense. Unlike Tarling, you can see it was in the GB ones on both sides. Um, I think these ones, they actually stuffed uh, stuff underneath to make, try and make it more aero, like uh, the ridges. Uh, everything else is SRAM standard. Uh, you know, it is what it is. You lose what's in your chain, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Kung, I noticed something interesting. Um, oversized pulley wheel. Uh, he doesn't normally run an oversized pulley wheel uh, on FDJ bikes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he does. Uh, he's always got the nice integrated bar and stem as well. Um, he's got, a, looks like a Met helmet, I think people were telling me, a Met Concordia potential, a Met drone. It doesn't look quite as wide as a drone, so I, I would imagine it probably isn't. Um, and again, one by as well, which is interesting to see. You can see uh, no front Mac either, so real trusting it. Obviously, he rode into the gate today, or well, the fence, not ideal. Heads up riding, uh, sorry, ha heads down riding, not optimized. Uh, well, optimized, but not optimal uh, if you don't want to crash. Uh, again, Sjord Bjax, he's riding for Onconagos, um, Onconago for UAE. Again, the only thing interesting, Carbon TI chain rings. I know they ran them on the road, but it's interesting to see they did here as well. Pretty sure it was one by as well. So UAE are kind of also up there. Those are really the three standout people. I also think Quick Step actually normally sorts stuff out. He's got a front Mac on, but I'm pretty sure he was one by. Um, not on an aero coach front wheel, I do not believe. Um, otherwise, you know, um, speed concept uh bars i think they are uh everything else pretty standard to be honest um obviously the sock now we go over to lot of Kapeki for the women's uh slightly different got gold chain and cassette knock maybe as crazy as people thought she's on the time pedals uh chain ring look does look small doesn't it maybe only a 50 here which is a which is a shame uh aero coach extensions those are obviously bought for um weird that she keeps the stickers on but anyway again her position pretty low um you know not the not it doesn't look bad it's just not you know super 
high hands that you maybe come to expect uh, from people these days. But yeah, apart from that, nothing to report. Keeps an arrow bottle cage in, which Lampard doesn't, so that's interesting. Don't know if that's, you know, if they've tested it or just vibes. Um, so yeah, interesting. Marlon Royce, well, she should be DQ'd for those socks, number one. Um, you know, I, I just don't know why they have rules and they don't implement them. Very shallow front rim, I think, because people are scared that it was very windy. She also has a bottle in as well, so maybe that is an SD Works thing. Apparently her Garmin was like tucked down her skin suit. She didn't want to. She didn't want to look at it or thought the error was bad. That's what I heard. I, um, but yeah, she her position is like Gannis, um, very long and high, and her elbows are kind of actually b b like backwards of the pads, if that makes sense, or closer to her. Um, but yeah, these error issues are belong in CTT land and not UCI land. So can we never see them again, please? Uh, otherwise, you know, standard stuff, nothing to report. Anna Henderson, um, on the Yumbo, we're going to see how error she is because actually mental. Uh, she's on the Yumbo train, but she's not, she doesn't get the one by, uh, on the SRAM, which is sad. Uh, maybe it was a massive priority event, but that, that is sad because, you know, she, okay, she wasn't going to win the medal. She came second, but she, sorry, she wasn't going to win gold. She came second, but I still think it's, it's pretty sad that she's on that. Um, but yeah, like everything else from her is pretty standard. Um, for a SRAM, you know, Yumbo team, it, it is what it is, it's just the double. Um, so here's the women's results on Strava, 270 watts for 47k an hour, it's absolutely mental. Like, I just, I, I know she's small, but still, that's pretty crazy. Hold on, hold on, Rago, 300 watts, you can see, like, Cassino Doma got caught by a minute, 263, so a watts on that different to Anna Henderson, but she probably just doesn't, doesn't do as much TTing stuff, I don't know about size, they look pretty similar. Again, you can see here people doing 290 watts. Uh, this Icelandic, she's strong, 280 watts, but obviously not uh, not strong yet. But yeah, basically, I think Royce is probably doing 330 on this um, effort, something like that, uh, which is why she goes a lot quicker than everyone else. Look at the men's, not much power data. Kwiatkowski, 374 again, 374, 53k an hour, that's pretty decent. Tara May, he is a parachute, 424 watts. He's on a rotor, and people do reckon rotors over read. Um, and this person, again, 340 watts, 47k an hour, it's not bad, is it? Uh, but yeah, there's not really much to say on the power data because basically no one just released their power data, so it's like all just uh, speculation. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this quick video, and I'll see you in the next one.